Conservative powerhouse Michelle Malkin took aim directly from the CPAC main stage Friday, at the lack of immigration focus while delivering fuel for the fight against long-standing abuses of the American immigration system. The most important issue we face is immigration and we need to be talking about it for more than one panel for 20 minutes, Malkin charged from the CPAC, Conservative Political Action Conference, stage. My first CPAC in 2002 was to talk about my very first book Invasion which exposed how border failures and systemic non-enforcement of our visa program rules created the national security crisis that led to 9-11. Immigration was a defining issue in the 2016 election that saw the American people make Donald Trump President of the United States. Malkin hailed President Donald Trump as he battles the Beltway Swamp, the Deep State, the Administrative State, and the Fake News Fourth Estate. But there is no sugarcoating America's long-term forecast. Malkin's Friday address went after members of both political parties and those who seek to marginalize and criminalize mainstream conservatives, anti-jihad groups and immigration hawks as hate groups and push us out of the public square like Color of Change and the Southern Poverty Law Center. She also named, Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, the Bush family, Mitt Romney and the ghost of John McCain. Our shining city on a hill has become a much-abused doormat to the world. Building the border wall is just half the battle. The numbers tell all. Our future is dimmed. The odds are fearful, Malkin charged. She referenced the one million given legal permanent resident status in America each year and a predicted increase of 10 million green card holders by 2025. She put the numbers in perspective, that's more than the current combined population of Dallas, St. Louis, Denver, Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Atlanta. Princeton University researchers found that recently admitted immigrants sponsored an average of 3.45 additional relatives each, Malkin said of chain migration. The diversity visa lottery brought another nearly half a million immigrants from fiscal year 2008 to 2017, she explained. Tens of thousands are pouring in from terrorism breeding grounds through the lottery unvetted, unmonitored and unassimilated. In addition, these lottery winners have brought in spouses and unmarried children under 21 through chain migration. Malkin had made clear at the top of her speech, I identify as an American. A proud, unhyphenated, unapologetic, fully assimilated American. My pronouns are U.S.A. She then launched into visa overstays. Nearly half of all illegal aliens in the country have violated the terms of their short-term visitor or work visas More than 10.8 million people received such visas alone in fiscal year 2015, including 500,000 foreign university and graduate students on academic visas and nearly 700,000 total foreign guest workers, both skilled and unskilled, not to mention their spouses many of whom are allowed to work here as well. Congress has repeatedly mandated a nationwide visa entry-exit system to track legal short-term visa holders. But one has yet to be built even in the wake of the 9-11's terrorist attacks, which were perpetrated in part by several illegal alien visa overstayers, said Malkin. E-Verify has been stalled. Sanctuary cities metastasized. Both parties are to blame yet I'm looking at you, Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, the Bush family, Mitt Romney and the ghost of John McCain, she charged. Open borders anarchy, multiplied by endless chain migration, amnesty and cheap labor pipelines, endangers our general welfare and the blessings of liberty, Malkin warned.
By every clear measure, the war is not on immigrants but on American sovereignty.